For people living with disabilities, getting around can be a daily struggle. That's why Seoul City recently upgraded its taxi service for such citizens, enabling them to book a wheelchair-accessible cab using only their voices. Oh Su Young shows us how they work. Hey, Kloba. 장애인 콜 택시 불러줘. 네, 지금 장애인 콜 택시를 불러드릴게요. It only takes a few moments to book a wheelchair accessible taxi for disabled people in Seoul using a voice assistant service. The voice only function was added this month to the city's taxi hailing service for persons with disabilities. Developed by telecom carrier LGU Plus, the feature can be used on smartphones as well as AI speakers. It isn't just a matter of convenience, it's a life changing function for people with severe disabilities like Lee Wonjun. I cannot move my hands at all, so even when my phone's right next to me, I can't easily book a cab. But now, I can simply use my voice to get a cab, which I rely on to get around. Since 2003, Seoul City has been running a taxi service for persons with grade 1 to 2 brain disorders or physical disabilities. This call centre in Eastern Seoul receives and processes around 4,000 calls a day. Nearly 500 taxis are ready to pick up passengers within an hour of their call. The rates are highly subsidised by the city government, costing less than $1.50 to travel 5 kilometres and $2.50 for 10 kilometres. We began with about 100 taxis and around 30 to 40,000 users, but now the numbers have grown fourfold, reaching 1.2 million annually. With Korea set to revamp its policies on welfare for the disabled later this year, demand for the taxi service is expected to surge. Seoul City aims to increase the number of specialized taxis as well as refine service aspects such as waiting time. It will also continue working with LGU Plus to improve voice-enabled calls. We aim to reduce the technological gap between people with and without disabilities. We plan to add features for people with visual disabilities as well as emergency services. AI-based services like these are expected to expand nationwide, as the central government plans to develop more services to accommodate the needs with people with disabilities. Oh Su-young, Arirang News.